All right, uh, time right now is 546. This morning we're sharing the story of, of a teen basketball phenom who made history as the first high school athlete to sign a name, image, and likeness deal with the Jordan brand. I had a chance to sit down with Silver Spring native Kiomi McMiller and her mother, Revelia, about basketball We're talking and basketball. making history. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is huge. You're the first high school basketball player to sign with the Jordan brand on an NIL deal. How does that make you feel, first of all? I mean, it's amazing. Um, <laughs> we had a history class where we talked about it, and like this was like when it wasn't even like around at the time. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about it. We're like, so should they do it or not? And like, I'm like saying like, yeah, like because you know that would be like pretty cool if he did that. Now like four years later, <laughs> I have like an NIL deal. <laughs> right, right. So. That, that's got to be amazing for you too, mom. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's it's really exciting. Yeah. Did, when it, did they call you? How does that work? How how is it work when they get ready to give these deals or do so, these deals? So Jasmine Jordan mm -hmm. just DM'd. She was on Instagram and we got a message and we were like, is this like real? Like Michael Jordan's <laughs> daughter? And we looked it up and it was her. And you know she was like, hey, here's my contact information. Give me a call. Want to connect and stuff like that. So that's like how how it started. How how excited were you to when oh, you realized we it was legit? <laughs> we were like so excited. I mean, we were my you know my husband. He was excited. He's a big Michael Jordan fan. I mean, yeah. we're all Michael Jordan. We're fans, all Michael but, Jordan fans. Yeah, yeah, but it was it was it was crazy. Right. This basketball journey that that you two have, that that the family has been on. This has been going on from the time that she was very little, very small. Mm -hmm. How first I want to ask you as a parent, how did you know? Good job. I mean, I know you love basketball, yeah. but how did you know when she was a little kid that? You know, this may be may turn into something one day. So we were coaching at a local um, Montgomery College, local mm -hmm. college, and um, we were, my husband and I were coaching. And she would come out the stands, and she would be like, "Hey, like, when am I going to get in a game?" How? What age are we talking? She's about? like three, four, <laughs> and so we're like at that time we knew like she she's into it. She knows she understands. So we're like, let's let's get her into something. Let's right. get into something. So then fifth grade, I mean five years old, we got her into um, the, the upward church league, church yeah. league mm -hmm. in upward. So that's where it all started. That's where it all started. How much work was going into this from a parent perspective and a, and a <laughs> kid perspective? A lot. Like, we were in the garage working out. Her dad was like, every day you're going to dribble the basketball to school. We were able to walk to school, dribble the basketball to school. And she did that every day and mm -hmm. just worked on her skills and stuff. And you, you could tell, like, right. we, you know, we saw it at, a, at an early age. Right. Like, it's funny because the type of workouts that we do, it's like... <laughs> When other people do it with my dad, they like they think he's crazy. It's so funny. <laughs> I don't think you give me the in and out, the second one. You give me the first one, you're not giving me the second one. It's not hard enough. And why do they think he's the crazy? The workouts are very intense, that's why. <laughs> this year, me and my teammate, it was something like so simple. We do it all the time. Uh -huh. And it wasn't like we didn't even start with the ball yet. All we're doing is like jumps and just running up and down the court. So my dad wasn't there yet, we're waiting for him. So I'm just like, okay, we'll do these jumps and then we'll do it. So I'm like getting ready to tell my, my teammate the next one and she's like, kill me. Like what, what, like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, I'm tired. <laughs> How do you, as a child, uh, keep that going when you're with your parents? I mean, your parents are pushing you here. You know, a lot of kids, they don't want to. They don't want to hear from their parents when they get to a certain point. They're like, "All right, enough of this. I'm ready to go do something else." How How did you manage that? I mean, my dad and mom, they've got me so far, so it's like it's obviously been working with their help. So why would I shade away from that? Right. All right, mom. Dealing with a kid, I know she's a superhero on the basketball court, <laughs> but dealing with a child, I know sometimes it can be a little, little, little um, hard. Mm -hmm. I'll just say hard. Mm -hmm. So how did you manage all of that? Just balance, you mm -hmm. know. Like I said, my husband and I, we balance a lot. Like, he's the, the tough guy, the trainer. You know, I'm the, the mom. I played, so I understand. So, you know, sometimes I'm kind of, you know, on her side a little bit. But, you um, let all the secrets out. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but, you know, but for the most part, she's really good, you know, gets up, does what she needs to do. And we put that, instill that in her that, you know, if you want to, if anything you want, you have to work hard at it. So she's taking that into consideration. And, and she's seen the work that's the things that she's gotten out of it. So. Right. We saw the work, we see the videos, and we see how much work is being put into this. What, what, what are your expectations of, of what's next? Well, the next thing for me is just to pick my college to go to school. That's really the next thing that we have to do. But besides that, just keep working. Keep working? Mm -hmm. Keep working on them ball handling skills and them <laughs> scoring skills and all the all-around game. Mom, what about you, the expectations uh, of what's next for her? I know she wants to go to college. She wants to play basketball in college. It, what are the expectations? 
Um, I mean, the expectations are what they've always been. The sky's the limit for her. You know, whatever she puts her mind to, whatever she wants to do going going forward, you know, we just say, hey, we're here to support you. We make the sacrifices to do that. So, you know, the ball's in her court, really. And right. She's done a good job, so right. we're really proud. All right. She's excellent. She and what a skills. great get for I, her, I've too. known her since she was, like, this tall. Really? <laughs> she had a basketball when she was this tall. Oh, yeah. All right. Way to go. All right, 552 is the time right now. Uh, coming up, which 90s Nickelodeon movie is making a comeback for part two? Plus, where the new Shazam.